Hi everyone, so this is just going to be a really, really quick video. Uh, I like the new uh, layout, this whole 360 layout. Let's, let's do it. So, um, before we start, obviously this is going to, like I said, uh, this will be going to a class, a year 8 class in South Australia. So we'll do a quick little round. You can say hi. Um, we'll go around, round, round. Well, this is quite hard. I'm going to duck. There we go. Round. Round. I feel like you should be saying like, hi, my name is Mitchell, I like walks by the beach. But anyway, um, there we go, all the way around. Okay, and we're back. So, ladies and gentlemen, what we are doing, the reason why, lads, the reason why obviously we're recording this is, uh, I sent you a NRGZ course which is all on Japan. Now, the class... You didn't create it. No. So, who did was a man called Mr. Neville. So you can say hi to me, he's a year eight teacher. Hi, hi Mr. Neville. Neville! Why do you never say, like, hi to me like that? Um, so, this course, ladies and gentlemen, was created by Mr. Neville and uh, I'm the high school in South Australia. Okay, now, this is the deal. The class that we will be working with, hopefully, um, if this works okay, uh, they've done this course already. Okay, they've already done it because they're they're the, actually they're the opposite to us. So they do history in the first two terms and then geography in the second two, whereas we're doing geography in the first two and history in the second two. So they've already done this. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing over the course of this term is we're going to be working through this this course. Um, I've made obviously some changes. For you guys, it's tailored to you guys as well. And I've done the project, which I'll show you in a second, which is a little bit different. Um, but what we're going to do over the course of the term is we are going to record little bits and pieces that we do on this course, and we're going to send it across to those guys so they can check it out. They've already done this, so they'll be able to give you some feedback, talk about the work that you're doing, maybe give you some extra insights, some extra comments, stuff like that. Okay? I already have. Um, so... I won't spend too much time on the course just as yet because, like I said, we're not starting this for another week or so. This is the course here, guys. Again, I'll be making some slight, some slight variations for us, but this is kind of what we're going to be looking at. And so, the stuff that we do, this other class is done. So hopefully, when I send this video off, they'll maybe have time to send us a video and they'll be able to introduce themselves, say how they're, what they're doing, what they liked, all that kind of stuff. So it'll be pretty cool, we can do back and forth. And hopefully, um, I don't, again, I don't know if we can do this, but if we see if we can't, it'd be awesome if we can get some maybe live Skype. streaming, Skyping Skype. thing. But what's Adelaide's time difference? Is it uh, uh, not one hour, one hour, one hour? One hour, one hour. One hour. We can figure it out. But, so, ladies and gentlemen, before I move on, what I need you to do, Okay, well, we'll get back to that. Um, what I need you to do, if you haven't done it already, is get this course in your iPads. Uh, for those of you that have to travel, I'll help you out. But has everyone got it so far? Excellent. And what I want you to do as well, is make sure you download all the materials as well. Just do it at home. They're not, they're not very large, but if you do them at home. Thank you, everything's there. All right, so that is that. So we're, we'll start this next week proper, okay? And we'll hopefully have some more time to go to class with you proper. What I'll show you right now as a sneak peek. Like a trailer, like a teaser trailer. A, a trailer, yeah. We should introduce. Sneak peek of, okay, sneak peek. I'm just finishing it off. I haven't finished writing it yet. Is your project that will be covering this unit on Japan. Is it great? Sorry? Okay. So, this will be the project that we'll be working on. Again, I've just got to finish it off, but what we'll be doing, okay, is it will be a, it'll be a project that's going to be focusing on Japanese art styles, okay? Many, and there's many of them. So, to give you an idea, we're talking about historical art styles, we're talking about some older stuff. We'll also be talking about newer stuff like manga, uh, yeah, anime, yes. uh, even kind of the video game art, and cartoon, all this kind of stuff. Okay? We have questions. Fire away. Um, and I lodge in Japan, they've got like, just in about every single room that we've got, we've got like really old... Japanese paintings that they've done. Yeah, so Fred, you're going to be my go-to for this project because uh, how many times have you been in Japan? Oh, once, but I'm going again. Soon. <laughs> well, he, well, he was there for a while. I was um, there for like two months. Two, yeah, exactly. You were there for a while, so you're going to be my go-to. Has anyone else been in Japan? Oh, hands, let's do this, let's film the hands. Uh, Lockie, where were you in Japan? I was in Tokyo and Osaka. For how long? For like 
Yeah. And your sister can speak it fluently, can't you? Yeah, she's in there right now. Really? For well, like three months. Really? Uh, oh, oh, actually, what we'll do then, we will try and we'll try and give Crystal. Hey, she's there right now. Do you reckon I can give her a call? Yeah. All right, we'll give Crystal a call later. We'll have a live live cross to Japan. Um, Aaron, you were in Japan? Yeah, for I think one week. Where were you? Just Tokyo. Tokyo. Oh. Anyone else? I was there for like 30 minutes. <laughs> well, they kicked you out of the country? Yeah, flew over. Oh, you flew over. Alright. Uh, anyone else in Japan on the side? It doesn't care. No? Okay. I like Stockholm. Sorry? I think I stopped. Oh, no, sorry, that was Singapore. Singapore. Alright. Oh, my God. Okay, so. Uh, I was also in Japan, guys. So, I lived in Japan. Um, for a while, I worked there uh, for a few companies. Like when I was making making toys uh, and video games, I worked in Japan. So I've got a, uh, no, I had to translate because I was lazy in the company I was working for. Lots of money. Um, so I'll be talking about those kind of things as well. So anyway, sorry. A lot more than I'm getting paid right now. Because I know in China, people get paid fifty cents. Well, some people do, and that's that's all about the. We talked about this. Remember, we talked about the economy and how there's so many people. What companies do you work for? Uh, I work for a few. I work for Mattel and, and Nintendo and a bunch of toy companies. Oh. Um, Mattel and Barbie. I made I made brats. It was sad. Um, because I love you guys. We'll talk about it later, and I'll bring some stuff from Japan. Anyway, let's get back on the task. Remember the other class. The other class right now and they're going wow those guys jump off task a lot anyway here we go so your project ladies and gentlemen your project uh, is going to be focusing on art so what I've done so far now I've been using a lot of Japanese uh, words in this as well to help you kind of get your vocab down um, so basically this project is going to cover um, these art styles. So Japan, basically Japanese art covers a wide range of art styles. We'll be looking at pottery, sculpture, ink painting, calligraphy, yukiyo-yi, uh, kiri-kiragami, origami, dance, theatre, and there's a whole bunch more. Okay? So, what I've got so far in this book is I'm going to give you an example of some key kind of art movements. Just a few, alright? So, again, we'll go over this later, so I'm not going to spend too much time. This is just a sneak peek, like I said. Um, so we'll just pinch that down. Oh, here we go. Mine's a little. There we go. Go across. Thank you. All right. So this is Yukiyo-e, which is wood. Basically, uh, it's these woodblock prints. Okay. So look at that. It's a Yukiyo. It's Yukiyo. It's Yukiyo. It's not Yukiyo. Uh, well, again, guys, we'll concentrate on this later. But I'm just going to quickly go through it. We're going to look at this kind of stuff. All right. We're going to look at how it's made and how it's put together. If I can show you this really quickly, it's a whole bunch of different styles there. So we'll look at this, we'll look at how it's made. Circle's actually kind of cute. We're gonna sit across. These guys here are showing you how it's made. Uh, we're gonna look at the westernization of Japan. Now, does anyone want to know that what I mean by that term, westernization? Well, they sort of... Remember, you're getting film Fred, you're you one take. Yeah, well, they have, like, um, they do have a lot of westernised shops over there. Okay, but what, what are we meaning when we say something's being westernised? Let's go. Sim. Um, well, in Asia, it's generally referred to as the Eastern, and um, the Western is the Middle East. Okay. Yeah, and then the Western people started coming into Asia, it all sort of turned around, and especially after the Second World War when it got bombed. Yes, and, yeah, cool. Uh, built for my economy. Yeah, so what, what Sam's saying there is. The westernization, so what happens is when you've got, like Japan has such a rich culture, okay, and it's, it's steeped in this tradition, and you have countries um, like America, for instance, the West, uh, you know, they, they start to come in and they start to westernize these countries, these countries start to change and they start to take on the traditions and, and the way people dress and the way people act, and we're going to look at that, how Japan started to change a little bit um, when it had, I guess, access to the, the outside world and started to be a lot more involved. And like Australia, you could say, we, we, have, we are westernised, obviously. We started um, But yeah, you know, things from, you guys watch American movies and American music and products and games and toys. So, you know, we really are quite westernised as well. There's very little, I think, that we can say is Australian. I mean, what do you guys do? What do you guys do that you could say is like Australian? Make lemon oh, 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 What? 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 Football? Yeah. 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 Vegemite yeah. on toast. Vegemite's not Australian. Oh. Yeah. Anything else from the side? 
Oh, we're back. Lucky's got one. Lucky. Guys, guys, come on. Lucky's got one. Yes, it's called Metal Man. Yes. <laughs> well, we're also going to look at that uh, when I show you video games too. We're going to look at some of the stuff that I did where I had to... Uh, what's the word I can use? I had to... Clay. With the games that we released, I had to uh, Japanify a lot of the stuff that I did. And I'll show you that where I'll take a product that we made and how we had to make it very Japanese. That, anyway, back into the project. So we'll look at things like that. Again, we'll look at the westernization in art. We won't go through this now because we're going to do it later when we do the project. We're going to look at origami really quickly because um, that's an art style, obviously. We're going to look at things like... Sorry? You, again, I haven't told you what the project will be yet. So we'll look at origami. Uh, we'll look at kirigami. Okay, which is very similar to origami, except you're allowed to use glue and scissors. Um, we're going to look at this art form here, okay, so here, which is essentially, it's like calligraphy, okay. Um, and I'll show you this cool little app where you can actually make it on your iPad, so we'll do that as well. No, everything's free. You know I'm free. Alright. We're going to look at brush strokes. We're then going to look at this awesome thing, and I'm going to even play this video now, because it's cool. Um, it's Just really quickly, just to show you what kind of art styles we're looking at. Zoom in. Many elements of traditional Japanese culture, such as cuisine and martial arts, are well known throughout the world. Kabuki, a form of classical theater performance, may not be as well understood in the West, but has evolved over 400 years to still maintain influence and popularity to this day. The word kabuki is derived from the Japanese verb kabuki, meaning out of the ordinary or bizarre. Its history began in early 17th century Kyoto, where a shrine maiden named Izumo no Akuni would use the city's dry Kamo riverbed as a stage to perform unusual dances for passerby, who found her daring parodies of Buddhist prayers both entertaining. All right, that's enough of that. Remember, it's just a sneak peek, just a sneak peek. So we're going to look at that. We're going to look at this art style here. With yes. 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 We're going to look at the North Star. Thank you, Luke. We're going to look at manga. Okay, again, very originally very uh, a very Japanese kind of medium. That's changed a lot. We're going to look at that. Um, I'm actually going to show you how manga works in a manga. Um, so, for instance, you have to obviously. How do I read this, Lucky? Oh, backwards. Yeah. Well, backwards to us, but the right way to them. So, for those that don't know, obviously Japan, they read from right to left, right here, right. and this, so basically, we start here, and we go across, so this is a, a manga that talks about manga, we'll look at that as well, um, so a lot of these, Sailor Moon, yes. yeah, it's in there, Pokemon's in there, we're yes. then going to look at why I'm showing you these art styles, okay, and a lot of these art styles are telling a story, so we're going to look at that, we're going to look at how they tell stories, okay, um, we're going to look at a few of these. These are silk screen or screen basically paintings. You know how you have those kind of changing room screens? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So we're going to look at a bunch of those which were painted. And this, this tells a story here. Kind of like, all right, here we go, quiz. Uh, what do we look at in history that they told a story similar to this? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 Yeah. yeah, exactly. So very similar. Uh, obviously not as, not as big. Um, but this here tells a story as well. So we're going to look at that. And we're going to look at how art tells stories. Uh, here's another example here. And then you're going to do your project. Oh, okay? So I'm going to leave it there. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you what you're doing on your project just yet. Um, don't worry, Luke. You're going to have options. It'll be stacks of options. Okay? How many options? Stacks is the word. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, 2.5 being the highest and 3 being the lowest. About 17. Um, so your project will unveil this next week. So, that's enough about our little intro in Japan. Again, we'll come back to it next week when we start it. So we'll sign off now. So we'll say goodbye. Bye. To our... Bye.